If you're an investor, this may happen to you all too often. You're combing through all your financial data, and you end up with a major headache. All those charts and graphs and columns and numbers. What if I told you getting to grips with these could actually be enjoyable? At Comark, we developed this wealth management app taking advantage of a technology never used before in the world of finance, virtual reality. Yeah, you heard me right, virtual reality. It's not just for video games, after all. First things first, let's say Diana here is our private banking customer, the founder of a successful startup, already beginning to accumulate a small fortune. We fast forward to the moment where her advisor, yours truly, presents her with an opportunity to grow that fortune some more. And I receive it here on my smartwatch. Message from Jerry, swipe. He tells me that silver is on a hot streak and one of the more promising investments this year. So, as a client, this may be something worth delving into. So it's not to put all my eggs into one basket, though. Let's see what my options are. Here's the app on my iPhone. I simply log in. As you can see, my portfolio is currently at 2.7 million, out of which I have over 500,000 available to invest. Here's the latest message from Jerry, my advisor, with his recommendation on silver. He always keeps me updated whenever something beneficial pops up. From there, I'm able to see how my portfolio is doing overall. Options to compare to model, view my performance, value evolution. my first quarter financial reporting. Now, for me, one great feature on this app is the fact that I'm able to get investment ideas. So, typically I tend to invest in IT or larger, fully established tech companies. I see here, Samsung comes highly recommended. Our recommendations are tailor-made, depending on the market outlook, but also on clients' preferences. Here, we observe Diana's fondness for tech companies, therefore, it's no coincidence she gets Samsung as an investment idea. As for investing in silver, though, it's a new direction to go in that, as her advisor, I personally brought up. Let me read up a little bit more on silver. Hmm. This definitely piques my interest. Let's check it out in VR. Comark VR is basically about three things. Visualizing banking data, usually dry and unappealing, and as a result, making it way easier to grasp. Two, using a wealth of data to put customers back in control so they have a better chance of making better decisions. And three, picking users' interest one step at a time by taking them on the journey from a tiny screen to a huge one. So I'm now in my cur currently in my dedicated and personal newsroom. It's a nice reprieve from the outside world, and I never have to leave my couch. Here's my news. If I want to discuss financial strategy with my advisor, I simply hover and fixate on this rank here for three seconds, and I'm instantly connected with my advisor. Here's where we plan Diana's next move after talking about a risk appetite and return objectives. There are five different scenarios, each matching a certain strategy. We depicted them with those planets. Diana's current strategy is the second one, rather cautious with little risk and moderate profit. With this scenario, her profit will go up by 300K in five years if the market behaves normally. Above and below this amount is the estimated result if the market does better or worse than expected. I show Diana the other ones. The third one catches her attention because it's quite profitable with not so much risk involved. Interesting. The last two ones are potentially bringing even more profit, but as they're not exactly typical of Diana's profile, she figures she'd have to put too much on the line there. So ultimately, it's the third one, the balance strategies that I recommend. Simply the best fit. What do you think, Diana? I agree. And now we take a look at Diana's portfolio overview. Top left corner, best performers as of today. Below, companies she has invested in the most. Top right corner, how much money she has in different regions of the world. Then there are sectors like 
telco or healthcare and gains within these. Finally, currency allocation. And here's where we discuss the change of strategy. This is the Diana current strategy and the suggested one. As you can see, equities and alternatives went up, while fixed income and money market went down. There's more to gain here, with the risk factor still kept in check. So there, what Comark strives for with this prototype is to disrupt the traditional client service approach, and we're the only ones doing it this way, by combining algorithms, human relations, wearables, and some fun. And there, you have it. 20 years of wealth management expertise by Comark in one powerful app that comes with a truly engaging way to interact with customers and actually brings private back to private banking. Whether you're a banker who is looking for a powerful tool to improve your business, or if you just want to have fun managing your finances, you know where to find us. Thank, Thank you. you.